This is my uh, Sunco 737G and um, this is the 110 volt version and I bought it to do some testing uh, with and to do some spot welding with and um, I have to say it's a piece of junk. Um, it really lacks the amps necessary to do some decent spot welds and um, you know I really thought that a plug-in machine would be better than the um, PCB spot welder powered by uh, the LiPo battery, but it's not. Uh, um, this thing really is a piece of junk. I've even gone so far as to modify it. Um, you can see I've, I've taken the transformer windings and hooked them directly to some 4-gauge spot welding pins. And um, this thing can barely weld onto a battery and definitely cannot weld nickel onto nickel. Um, it's sad how how bad this machine is. Um, it honestly just makes me so much more appreciative of how good the, the, the PCB spot welder is because the PCB spot welder with a few modifications and a decent battery um, is worlds better than this uh, Sunco 737G. Um, I just cannot recommend the 737G. I'll show you even with my modified needles how this thing performs and it's it's pitiful. All right, so um, here is a piece of the 0.15, the slightly thickest stuff. This is the stuff that I would expect, um, you know, a plug-in unit to be able to spot weld. And it claims to be uh, capable of, of, of spot welding the 0.15. And um, here are the spot welding needles. You can see they're coming, you know, the four gauges hooked directly to the transformer so that there's no minimal resistance. Nice sharp needle tips, put the 0.15 down, spot weld, spot weld, peeled off like butter, um, you know just really the 0.15 does not spot weld, you know on a battery it's a little better on a battery but Still, I think the PCB spot welder is better. And by the way, I have the I have this cranked up to ninety percent. Um, that was okay. That was okay, but definitely, I mean, you know, the PCB spot welder was every bit as good as that, and was way better on the nickel to nickel. Um, so um, I am tempted to throw this thing in the trash if I'm being honest I mean I might keep the transformer for the windings or something like that but I'm glad I got a good deal on this and I'm glad I didn't spend you know 200 bucks but I think the reality is the 110 volt versions just are garbage and I actually since then I've seen a couple other people look at the 110 volt versions and their conclusion was also that it's garbage there's just not enough energy in the 110 volt version um, and there's no capacitors to store the energy, so it, it just runs through a transformer and 110 volts at 15 amps, there's only so much you can transform out of that um, and it just doesn't um, turn into a decent spot weld. So yeah, in the end, I think uh, the Sunco is not for me and I'm going to continue to um, improve and pursue my PCB spot welder.